What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Carlos Edmilson and Albert Ferrer, who are part of the Spanish League Guardians. So this pack, a lot of people are kind of, I would say, down on this pack. I mean, Carlos, for me, is definitely one of the best left-sided players in the game. He's just He just plays way above his stats on his older cards, but I don't see enough in this card. We'll get into it, even though it's a double booster. You can open up a couple of different avenues with this card, but... I do feel like that there are a lot of really good left backs and right backs and left sided players. I mean, you've got Bale there on left midfield and you've got, you know, the likes of Philip Lamb, Dennis Irwin, the old Roberto Carlos cards. Ed Nielsen is the same. Even though he's down as an anchor man, he's going to be contending with some of the best cards in the game. I'm talking right card. I'm talking Patrick Vieira. I'm talking Sakaria and Rodri and a couple of other boys that they have there as well. He can play CB as well. But I mean, they're nice cards. But at this stage in the game now, I think I think most people are waiting for the next big update. Albert Ferrer as well, he is limited with his player levels, but he is a very interesting card as well, very similar to Cannavaro, we're going to take a look at the best build in just a second, right, so these cards, in my opinion, they're not going to be, like, every card that they release now that are double booster boys are going to be in-game, depending on whether you want them in your squad or not, like, you can have Carlos, there's no doubt about it, you can have this edged cross inversion of Carlos, it's an attacking full back, he can play left or left midfield, left back or left midfield, he's got unwavering form, he's got his agility booster, which is going to boost up his speed, acceleration, balance and stamina, and of course we're going to be able to get his stats, his main stats into 90 zone very easily, right, edge crossing as well as pinpoint crossing and outside curler, long range shooting, first time shot, he doesn't have one touch pass, but he does have blockers, so he is a bit more defensive, this version of him, without having to do anything, one touch pass seems to be one of the rarest skills now to unlock, right, now we're going to show you just a quick little build of him here, it is a 103 Carlos, you're going to pop one into shooting, 10 into passing, four dribbling, five dexterity, eight lower body, three aerial strength, and 12 into defending, this is probably the best all-round version of Carlos that most people will use. He's not really specializing in anything, but you do have 85 tackling, 88 aggression, 99 speed, 93 acceleration, 97 kicking power, 80 physical contact and 90 balance, and 90 lock to pass with 90 curl. Now, I would potentially probably take down his passing a little bit, because honestly, you are using a lot of points here for the passing. If you do not cross a lot, if you're just using Carlos... As a player that can kind of like get up and down the pitch, be defensive or whatever, you could actually take down the pass in here to about this. That's going to save you six points, and that's going to mean that you'll be able to get one more into that, and then, of course, uh, we'll be able to pop two more onto jumping, and then you can give the another booster to get that jump up to 80. Carlos's jump is inc incredible. You can also give him 90 aggression with the booster. It depends on what booster that you want to give him. It just depends on what version of him that you want, right? I do think that the 90 balance is key on this card with the 80 physical contact. Trust me, you will absolutely bomb people out of the way, right? Albert Ferrer, okay? So Ferrer actually with this build here, he only has 27 levels, which is a bit of a pity because this card potentially was going to be the Cannavaro Destroyer. As in, he has pretty much a very similar card to Cannavaro. He's down as a Destroyer. He's got Dueling plus two. He's also got Blocker, Interception, Sliding Tackle, Acrobatic Clearance, Off the Rip, and One Touch Pass. So he's a bit of a baller as well. He already has a DMF and right midfielder kind of secondary position in here. If you want to add a different position to him, he can play DMF as well. But it's a very solid card, man. I mean, defensively and speed and acceleration and stamina, he's all into the mid-80s, apart from defensive awareness and tackling, which is still not too bad, right? So this is just a quick build of him. He does have this booster, as we said, dueling plus two. And of course, he is also going to be very, very solid at the back. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 jump, 90 stamina, 85 physical contact with this build here. From starting with dexterity at three, lower body two, aerial threat nine, and defending 14. And then, of course, you're going to have all his defensive stats, 97, 98, 99, 99. And, of course, you can pop up or top up those defensive stats with the extra booster that you're going to be giving him. Shut down if you want to go that route. You could also take a little bit out of his aerial strength if you wanted to give his physicality. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to just um, have a little bit extra defense there, if you wanted to go to that 99 tackling, you could and not use the booster for that. It depends. It depends on what way you want to build him up, but... It's definitely a good card. I just feel at this stage, is anybody else just kind of, yeah, just waiting for something beyond cards now, boys? That's kind of where we're at with the game, I think. You know, it's not that these cards are bad or anything like that. It's just, you know, that's just where I am. We'll talk about that in the live stream in a little bit, right? We also have, last but not least, the Fortress Ed Nielsen, who does have that special ability, Fortress and Defending Plus Two. 
Very nice card as well. Area superiority. He doesn't have blockers. So he has fortress, but he doesn't have blockers. So it's a bit silly. But again, that's what they've been doing with these cards. They've been balancing them that you do need to put in a little bit of work into them, right? Now, I'm not going to waste time with this card because he is going to be competing with a lot of brilliant cards, right? But this is the build that I would probably go for is the defense all into the 90s, especially aggression at 90. We're going to pop 15 into that. We're going to have 89 speed. We're going to give him an agility booster that will uh, prop up and top up his speed to 90, his acceleration to 75. This guy's going to be a deep sitting DMF. Like, there's no need for acceleration unless you're going to be running and gunning a little with him and taking the ball out from defense, right? If you're doing that, yes, you can actually take one off this and pop four into dexterity if you want to go that route. It'll add a little bit to this card, but passing, dribbling, everything like that is going to be pretty solid. So, it's a nice card. I mean, obviously, 90 jump, 85 physical, physical contact is going to be good. So let me know what you guys think. Are you going to spin? Are you going to skip? Let me know what you think. I think all eyes now are on December's update, lads. I, I genuinely think, man, they need to give this game a big boost. Like a big boost in terms of things to play for, things to do, um, you know, and, and go from there. Because, listen, man, the event that they have even at the moment, we'll talk about it in the live stream later, but the event that they have with the, you know, that the qualifiers and stuff, I mean, if you're not playing in that and you're not pushing division ranks, between the cheating, between people actually cheating and spoofing their results, and doing the same in divisions, I just feel like they need something new now in December to actually tie us into this game. So it's going to be very interesting what drops around the time of UFL. So I'll be back live streaming in just a little bit. Hope to see you in the live stream. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll talk to you in a bit.